Hi guys, if your HP laptop gives you boot device not found, then please follow this tutorial to the end. Please also note that this procedure can also work for Dell and other computer models. If you understand the procedure, then the process is still the same. I will leave a typical video of Dell no boot device found in the description below. You can please contact me in the comment section below or quickly reach me on WhatsApp in the given numbers below if you need further assistance. To fix this, if your computer is connected to any USB drive, unplug them as soon as possible to avoid the conflict with your boot order, which would result in your computer booting from external devices rather than the internal drive first. To begin, let's turn the HP laptop on. As you can see, boot device not found. Now let's turn it off and turn it on again. Now press ESC or escape key to display the menu options. Then F2 system diagnostics. Select hard drive or SSD check and select quick check. Now wait for the process to complete, this can take some time. Finally, the test is completed and you will see either pass or fail. For this test, it means the hard drive is in good condition. So we can proceed with the next step. Now let's turn it off and turn it on again. Now, press ESC or escape key to display the menu options. Then F10 to enter into the BIOS settings. Now, move to the configurations tab and go to boot options. Then legacy support and change this option to enable when disabled and disable this option when enabled. This is done to test which mode was used to install your operating system. After check both the UEFI boot order as well as the legacy boot order, please ensure the hard drive or operating system boot manager is at the top of the list. After press F10 to save the settings and exit. Finally, enter the 4 digits numbers and press enter to proceed. In case your hard drive did not show up in the system diagnostics, then I will advise you disassemble your laptop and check for loose connections. This could happen due to some form of vibration or fall. Reattach the drive more firmly and if there are any cables attached to it, ensure it is connected properly. Replace the case. And after try to boot it up again. But if your drive gets detected by your computer and you can't still boot Windows from all the steps mentioned, then you have two options. You can either copy your important files from your drive and after do a clean Windows installation, or just go ahead and do the installation if you have your information packed up. You can follow this video tutorial and copy your files from your broken computer. You can also follow these videos to do a clean windows installations.
if not then the last suggestion for this video will be to update your computer bios though it comes with some form of risk but that may be your last resort you can follow this video tutorial on how to update your computer bios i hope one of these suggestions was able to help you out if you find value from this tutorial please give me a thumbs up also share with anyone that might need it consider subscribing and hit the notification bell icon for more video updates thanks for watching and have a great day